answer was no to that question. Maybe you haven't gotten to the place where you want to be. Maybe your dreams have a moose and you want them to come back. Well, today I have the answer. Okay, it's something that this club offers as another service of, as part of your meta membership, but it's only for certain people. Only certain people are able to participate in this aspect of being a Toastmaster, and it is being a club officer. Now you may ask, why would I want to do extra work on top of my regular day job? Well, the reason why is because it will help you get to your dream, right? Whatever your dream is, Toastmasters, officer training, and being a participating in that officer role is going to help you get there. Now you may wonder, how does that happen? Well, let me give you an example. Uh, I've spent years of my life reading books. My father gave me and my mother gave me the love of books when I was a small child. And I've read all kinds of books on management and companies and biographies, but until I became the president of this here club, because Mamet convinced me to do it, I did not have a clue about how to read anything. <laughs> and I am so thankful that he believed in me and gave me this opportunity to actually be a, m a member of the officer club, and not just that, but to be the president. The president, there can be only one. That's the thing, it's just like the Highlander. There can be only one. <laughs> I love the Highlander. Now, I can tell you guys, when I talk to uh, a director or a vice president or anyone I meet outside of the company, any other employees, any people at my church, and I tell them, I'm the president of Toastmasters, they're like, Whoa. they're so impressed. They just, they just can't even believe, like, wow, you must be really, really good. They have no idea, you know. <laughs> So the thing is that you put this on your resume, you're going to be golden. It's really, really impressive. The, ha, how many of you, Camille, Mamet, Toby, you've been a past president? Do you guys agree that it's very impressive when you tell people? Now, the thing is this, I would love to continue to be president, okay? And it's very sad for me to have to turn it over, but I have to because I need to let someone else enjoy the wealth. Right? I can't be selfish. It can't be all mine. I have to share it with one other lucky person in this room, or maybe someone who didn't show up today. But now, so I want you guys to think about it. Are you cut out to be the next president of this club? Okay? To be a president, you have to be visionary. You have to be a visionary leader. You have to be responsible. You have to be enthusiastic. You've got to get excited and get people going. And you have to be organized, which is very difficult to find all those things in one person. So if you think you may have all of that, you need to let me know so I can start mentoring you on that. Our elections are going to be on June 3rd, so that's one month from now, and then you will take office on July 1st. Are there any questions about the presidency? No? Because we actually have a total of seven officers. And the other ones, I'm going to talk about them now. We have the Vice President of Education, who's Kieran today, or right now, and he isn't able to make it today. Now, what the Vice President of Education does is he schedules speakers to make sure people have a mentor, which is really important, and he tracks progress. He makes sure that each of you are on your way to your goals. Then you have Vice President of Membership, Toby. So, Toby, why don't you tell us a little bit about your job? I know that. Rhonda, I'll let you know that you want to do this. Just go ahead, tell us a little about your job and why you think someone else would love to have it. 